Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Breaking Muscle podcast. Today is a little change of pace. We're not necessarily going to be focusing on training and what you're doing in the gym, but perhaps something that could help enhance the things you do in the gym and improve your recovery. Uh, I'm joined by Max Moldashal, who uh, I've just discovered uh, that I can't pronounce his surname, who is the co-founder of Natural Works. We're going to learn a little bit more about him uh, and what Natural Works does. Max, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Tom. Hi, everyone. Hey, all right. So, um, how did you discover CBD? Because you know we haven't outlined this yet, but Natural Works, um, you're a CBD company. Um, so, you know, first of all, can you tell us what CBD is and how you discovered it and how you got involved in it and and what made you set up a company? Sure. Um, so, I mean, CBD is one of the so-called cannabinoids um, found in uh, the hemp plants. So obviously, mm. the other well-known one is THC. Um, for its properties when you go to Amsterdam but the other main one is CBD Mm -hmm. which actually has nothing to do with what people think about um, when they think about marijuana as such it's uh, a chemical element element in the hemp plant which actually has a lot of health um, benefits and is really taking the UK and the world by by storm Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, my personal story in in a previous life I worked in finance for a bit more than a decade which of course entails long long hours very stressful job harsh environment to to work in and over the years i had my fair shares of ups and downs with work related stress didn't sleep well most of the time and a, a couple of years ago a friend of mine actually recommended me to take cbd and <laughs> he he sort of made it almost sound like a sales pitch but he was genuine that it really helped him mm-hmm. And I, like many people, was quite skeptical yes. at first. I also made the link to cannabis. I wasn't sure, is it, is it legal, etc. Mm, but when another person then recommended it to me, I thought, okay, doesn't like what the hell, I'll, I'll give it a try. And I did almost instantly become a fan. Um, I think it, for me personally, I mean, many users have, have, have different experiences and it helps them with different things. But for me personally, I feel like it, it helps me take the edge off, uh, but not like a glass of wine or a glass of beer would uh, mm-hmm. in a more positive way. I'd say it yes. sort of rebalances you. So I sleep a lot better. I'm more focused. I feel like when I wake up, I, I can tackle the day ahead in a better way. And, and then the the fact is it's a natural remedy. So mm-hmm. it's it's not a pharmaceutical product. Um, yes. Our our sort of uh, slogan is take in nature. So we, we stand for bringing people closer to nature and, and actually using the the resources and the solutions nature gives us in our sort of more modern hectic hectic lives. So I really came towards CBD from from the angle of of of, of aiding me with my stressful life. Um, since then, of course, I've tried other products. There's there's not just oils you can consume. There's there's creams and cosmetics um, for my back pain. So another side effect of of working in finance, not moving a lot sitting in front of computer screens all days is that I have chronic back pain and, and there's a CBD cream which which really helped me as well. So I'm a big fan. Um, at the time when we thought about launching Natural Works, my uh, experience with the marketplace was not so positive. Mm-hmm. Um, and what I mean by that is that it was not very transparent whatsoever. Yes. Um, so first of all, there's no regulation in place up until recently. It's, it's coming in in, in March uh, next year. It was a bit of a Wild West uh, mm-hmm. marketplace. Pricing-wise, you can find products which essentially do the same thing for 30, 40 pounds or once for 100 pounds, but okay. without actually understanding what the difference is. Uh, labeling, I found when I first tried CBD, was all over the place. Didn't really give me the confidence of what the different products are, what they're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. Um, I found that companies weren't really telling people how to consume CBD, how much to consume, Uh, very little lab testing going on back in the day when I first tried CBD. So it sort of didn't leave me as a consumer. It left me confused. I didn't really know who to trust. So I guess the biggest reason why we started Natural Works is in quotation marks to do this properly. Mm -hmm. Um, and what I mean by that is is to educate consumers on the benefits of CBD, um, also on the safety of it, help them understand the different products, what they can be helpful with, how to use them, how to consume them. Um, and ultimately, 
to be able to share the positive experience I had with it with, with the with the wider uh, marketplace, but in a in a proper way and and, and helping them understand CBD um, much better than perhaps they were able to a few years ago yes yeah yeah that's interesting there's a <clears throat> you know my, my my limited experience with it and uh learning about it there's some similarities with my um uh, awareness of it you know initially i was very skeptical uh as, as well and you know like like you said I, I there's a bit maybe a bit of a mystery a bit of a stigma about it and i immediately thinking was like cannabis weekends in amsterdam space cakes you know that, that's that, exactly. that, that, that sort of thing and, and and I just wasn't aware of of the difference. Um, and then obviously by reading uh, around it, you you start to pick this up. But then you like you know if you're someone's like okay, I want to I want to try this. You've you know I, mean, I had lots of people telling me it's working great for them. But you if you go yourself, you know I was walking into Holland and Barrett. Look what they got. And then as you said, there's five different products, and I had no idea what's what's the different you know what what to, uh, differentiates one from the other. Why is one seventy pounds, one's twenty five, or or whatever? So um, it's interesting to know from like the in, inside the industry, well, you know, why that was happening and ha- how it was, and and how gradually changes are changes are happening. Um, so well, you know, with with that sort of background out of the way. Um, Maybe you could give a, uh, get into some some detail about you know someone who is interested in this. Um, what are the potential benefits um, for, for someone looking to use CBD? Um, I mean, there are many. Maybe if I can give a slightly different angle to the question, there's currently a lot of work being done um, in terms of uh, uh, scientific tests. Mm-hmm. And we've actually partnered with a, uh, a leading scientific advisory company here in the UK to actually help us understand the potential of CBD uh, or various CBD products in uh, health and wellness applications. Yes. So I think we're only at the very beginning as, as a society to actually understand what CBD could be useful for. But we know from experience and from what people have told me, from my personal experience as well, uh, it helps with sleep. Mm-hmm. Uh, it has anti-inflammatory properties, so it, it helps with with muscle recovery and things like that. Uh, as I said earlier, I have uh, back pain. A CBD cream really helps me um, with that. So there's really an array of, of, of benefits. And medically speaking, we cannot claim those benefits rigorously yet because those trials are still taking place. But very early indications are that it actually helps with a lot of sicknesses of the age. So mm-hmm. things with like arth- arthritis um, and, and, and things like that, the, the anti-inflammatory properties really help. But as I said, I think we're at the very beginning of that journey, which from an entrepreneurial perspective, it's very interesting to be part of that industry and hopefully see that grow and develop um, over the years to come. Yeah, absolutely. Very interesting, very exciting for you guys. Um, and, and, and you touched on sleep there. You know, you, um, after we arranged this podcast, you guys were kind enough to like let me ha- sample uh, some of the products. And then that, that's the one thing that I, I would say I noticed. It's kind of a weird one. And initially I'll say, uh, you know, if I take it like 30 to 60 minutes before bed, like feel absolutely nothing. And then it's like lights out and just, you know, s- sleep through really solid sleep. Um, and then wake up feeling... Um, well, yeah, it's not not a miracle. You know, some days the co- coffee is needed to get going, but um, rather than waking up um, as normal, sort of multiple times in the night, you kind of head hits the pillow. Ne- next thing you know, it's like six six a.m. and and you feel feel pretty good. And for for me, sleep's one of the limiting factors in my life. I've got two young kids, that sort of thing. So anything that can help with that was is, is a massive game changer, and I can certainly attest to that positive uh, impact there. Yeah, same for me. I've got a three year old, so I used to wake up quite a bit during the night. Yeah. Uh, I, I still hear him when he when he does wake up, but I feel like I sleep so much deeper that if I do sleep through the night, even if I only get five six hours of sleep, it feels like I actually rested. Yes, as if I slept I don't know ten hours. That, so that, that's very the true. quality. It's not necessarily like a, a sleep aid which actually makes you sleep longer. It's I think a sleep aid which which makes you sleep deeper. Yes, and as a result, you wake up feeling more rested than you yeah. might would. 100% I'd agree it seems to improve quality in, in that respect um, another area that like you mentioned inflammation um, this is from a purely selfish standpoint but someone with a, a chronic knee injury um, managing inflammation for that's something that's been uh, a real issue for me and I've used fish oils and uh, curcumin supplements um, I'm excited to, to know you know the potential this has with uh, inflammation and managing that 
Yeah, no, absolutely. So that's the anti-inflammatory properties are probably the, the most well-known ones when, when people read up on on CBD. So I think for people like you and, and probably most of the listeners, if it, this won't give you bigger muscles or, or quicker gains, but I think where it can really help is in the recovery phase after you've worked out or yeah. for, for athletic people. Um, again, there's a lot of clinical trials and research in progress, but we, we know that post-workout, you can have two benefits. Of course, as I said, reduce inf- inflammation and also help relax muscle soreness. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I guess the, the benefit you derive is not a, it's not a primary benefit for your training program. But if you do uh, get those benefits, you'll be able to train again the following day and, and maybe push yourself a bit harder than you would otherwise. So on a, on a sort of secondary perspective, it does then help your, your training regime. Yes. Uh, um, I mean, for athletic people or for people in the gym, I guess the two main ways to consume CBD would be uh, uh, via an ingestible product, uh, so orally, on a sort of more general basis, mm-hmm. but also topi- topical CBD gels and, and balms, which we're actually just about to launch a muscle aid um, uh, a product, both a, ho- a warming and a cooling balm. And that, of course, you can then apply directly to the muscle you've trained um, that okay. day. And, and help help the sort of soreness and, and, and get the benefits directly to the area in question. Okay, so you can get a local effect as opposed to what would be be a general, uh, like a global effect with the, the oral supplement. You can uh, that's ta- right. target specific tissues uh, is, is, that's the, right. is the goal there. Okay, that's pretty exciting. And I mean, you can actually use, so not labeled like that, but you can use ingestible CBD oils and rub them in. It's, ah, okay. it's perhaps not, the viscosity is perhaps not what you would want from a like a gel or a cream, but... The effect of rubbing in the, the oral CBD oil is, is the same. It will be absorbed in your skin and in your muscle, and the CBD will get to work like that as well. So that is also an, an option. Okay. Okay. So that's interesting to know. So um, there's you know the, the oral supplements and, and then those topical uh, products are, are coming too. Um, so this. Yeah, as you say, it's a, it's basically it's a secondary driver of improved results from the gym, and and primarily by uh, it has a really positive effect on recovery, and it's hitting that from two angles: um, anti-inflammatory properties, but also if it's improved sleep quality, then that will go a massive way to improving recovery. Because basically, uh, if we're looking from n- natural um, recovery aids, sleep is by far and away the best recovery aid we we have available, and and anything we can do for that. Um, is going to be massively beneficial to anyone's uh, health or fitness goals. And and also, I suppose, what I like about this is, you know, we talk about creating habits with the clients I work with about sleep hygiene um, and setting themselves up. But, you know, let's be fair, most people, they're they're addicted to their smartphones or they're looking at, you know, those late at night. They're going to bed a bit too late. Um, This isn't going to be, you know, a complete quick fix. It's not the panacea, but it's something relatively low effort low barrier to entry to to take a few drops of this and know that you're getting some some benefits so no absolutely i mean it won't counter that completely but our modern lives are not really equipped to 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 sleep hygiene we've actually if i could just mention the 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 part of educating consumers we have a big uh, array of blog articles on our website and actually one of them deals with sleep hygiene so I think you're you're bang on track there. That's 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 part of what we should be doing a bit better, and I, I guess CBD can help us in that uh, journey of getting more sleep, better rest, and and for athletic people, and you can perform better. Mm-hmm. For for someone like me, I can perform better in the office. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, I suppose that's it's, it's part of the part of the puzzle. It's a piece a piece in that jigsaw puzzle. Um, and and the thing is though that sometimes life gets in the way. So even people with good habits that that prioritise sleep hygiene, there'll be times where you know there's an emergency happens or a, a meeting gets thrown in last minute, and you know deals falling through. Some you know a lot of my clients work. In a in a similar world to you used to be involved in a finance and there's, yeah. there's stuff happens um, that you can't control but but you know um, that can disrupt your habits uh, to some extent but taking this can can again it's it's like maybe putting a little uh, a little sticking plaster over um, on days when you know the world just gets in the way a little bit so it's nice to have that in your back pocket as a, as a tool to to support you yeah I fully agree okay cool that yes, that's, I'm, I'm um, Really, really positive about that. Uh, the benefits uh, it has on sleep, I mean, certainly can vouch for that. And I think that's certainly, from my point of view, been the real takeaway from uh, from my experience with it so far. Um, now, 
at this point, I'm sure there's loads of people who struggle with sleep and they're thinking, this sounds great and I, I want that. Again, uh, you know, is, is there anything people should be really looking out for if they are looking for a product? What, what makes a product you know, stand out? As in, this is, this is something worth investing my money in. Um, you know, mentioned things are a little bit like a Wild West out there in the marketplace. Is, is there anything they can look for that will help them? Or you know, is it essentially uh, you're, you're taking potluck with this? Well, no, it's become better compared to what I described maybe two years ago when I first came um, to CBD uh, in my personal journey. But I'd say if if you want to start your CBD journey, do a bit of research. Mm-hmm. Think why you're, you're, you want to take CBD, what, what you want help with. Um, read up on what CBD product then would be suitable for what you're trying to achieve. Mm-hmm. And then I'd say just give it a try. Um, people have different... Uh, that they're receptive to different degrees to CBD. So we always say start with the with the ingestible oil, for example. Start with a couple of drops underneath your tongue. Leave them there for 30, 60 seconds so they, that it can absorb. And then the next day, see how you felt. Increase the dose a bit. Um, on our packaging, there's 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 guidance of how much you can take per day. Yes. Um, so Tom, you said you mentioned you mentioned you you take a couple of drops. You can act actually. Uh, in our 10% oil, you can up that up to about um, three quarters of a pipette. Okay. So uh, different people. <clears throat> so I, I take half a pipette, for example, um, which is about 50 milligrams of CBD. Others take one or two drops and have the same effect. So it sort of depends on your personal, yes, on, on your body. So I think always just take it slow, see what works. And I've not had a single client yet who said that they didn't like the effect. So find what works for you. Um, and I'm, I'm sure you'd, you'll, you'll love it. Mm-hmm. Yes, that makes perfect sense. You can, you can individualize this, uh, personalize it to you, and, and you know, titrate, <coughs> titrate the dose up uh, you know, t- to what's effective for you. Um, is there, on that basis, I suppose, is there an upper limit to what is uh, re- reasonable to be taking um, at, a, at a time within a day or in one dose? Yeah, so uh, per day, you shouldn't uh, exceed 70 milligrams um, of mm-hmm. CBD. To give you an example, the oil we sent you, which is a 10 milliliter bottle, yes, um, has a thousand milligrams. Okay. Um, so, to, so don't just open that up and ch- drink the whole bottle. It's not a good idea. I mean, it's it's not toxic. <laughs> so okay, nothing should happen to you. But the upper limit we're currently recommending in the industry, the whole marketplace is currently recommending on on the back of sci- science mm-hmm. is is 70 milligrams. Um, I think the other thing to look out for when you're when you're searching for CBD products is have a look at the brand and what they're doing around um, sourcing the product. Um, mm-hmm. We source all our product in, in Switzerland because it's it's well known to grow the best quality hemp. Um, we heavily invest in our lab testing program, so users can actually download. We're doing a batch tracker, which is launching quite soon, where on the packaging there's going to be a QR code for people to scan whilst standing in the shop see the actual third-party independent lab report to just have that uh, uh, trust that what what it, what it says on the tin is actually inside as well. Yes. Uh, okay. So that, for me, when I started, uh, my CBD journey wasn't the case. You sort of just had to trust a brand you've never heard about. What we're trying to achieve is, is actually, look, here's a third-party independent lab report. You can see what ingredients are inside. In terms of the various cannabinoids, you can see that um, the THC levels are as advertised that it's not um, going to mess with your head. And I think that's that's an important step in terms of feeling confident and, and feeling feeling safe about what, what you're doing, um, especially mm-hmm. for those who have that stigma and, and think about cannabis and THC. Yeah, 100%. Think about CBD. Yeah, I, I think I think that's brilliant. Uh, I think you know one of the key things um, is it seems with this product, given the kind of stigma that's attached to it, is getting trust and building confidence with people. Uh, and, and what you guys are doing there is uh, is going to do that. I, I'm not sure if the the industry as a as a whole is uh, is jumping on board with that, but I think that's um, that's a fantastic approach you guys are taking there. Um, it, actually, that well, I suppose that is an interesting point. I mean. Are you aware of any other companies that are doing similar to, to what you guys are doing with um, with that? Uh, yes, I mean there's a, there's a couple of the bigger brands out there which also do lab testing, mm-hmm. um, various degrees. I think in general, so we've not touched on this so far, but in at the end of March next year, new regulation comes into place for the first time 
um, which will regulate ingestible CBD products. Okay. Um, and I think from the 1st of April onwards, that really will shake up the marketplace and make it more transparent, but also probably uh, uh, change the marketplace in terms of the brands which will which will still be able to to sell their various product ranges. Okay. Okay. So yes. That's something to look out for. As I said, we're at the infancy of this this marketplace, mm-hmm. so the next couple of years we'll we'll see it develop, become more transparent. And as I said, that's one of the reasons why we started our brand because we felt like there's a big opportunity here to 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 do things the right way. Mm-hmm. Um, perhaps just because I just remembered the other thing to to answer to your question also for people to look out for is. Um, the amount of CBD they're buying in a product, yes, or almost irrespective of how m- much content is in the bottle or, or the box they're buying, um, because what's important is we we spoke about dosing. The importance is how much of the CBD are you consuming. Mm-hmm. So the se- the seventy milligram upper limit we discussed, um, and it doesn't really matter how much carrier oil, for example, that amount of CBD is in. So what you'll see is you can buy a uh, say a thousand milligram bottle of CBD in ten milliliters, mm-hmm. which would be a ten percent uh, strength CBD, or you could buy a thousand milligram uh, CBD in thirty milliliters. Right. Uh, there might be a big price difference there, mm-hmm. but the fact that one is three times as much liquid actually doesn't change yes. the effect it will have on you. Because okay. what's important is that you're controlling how much you're taking. Um, how much of the CBD you're taking in, in your dosing. Okay, okay. so the concentration is the key thing there uh, and, and actually the CBD dosing um, as opposed to just the volume of product you Correct. Buy. And so, so just because it's a uh, just because it's a bigger bottle doesn't mean it's a better product. Yeah, so okay, okay. So that's yes, something that I'm sure lots of companies um, take advantage of there. Bigger pack, you assume you're getting more, more, for, your, um, more for your money. That's, exactly. That's interesting to know. Okay, um, so uh, now... I've had positive results with it. I, I know some like the reason I did it was a, some clients who again work in finance and they were looking for something, um, and and they'd had good results and it was just word of mouth for me. And and to be honest, I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have touched it. Probably had so many guys said this is actually really really good. Um, in terms of you getting the word out there, obviously you know being on podcasts like this, how how are you trying to? To, to spread the word and, and get people to know this, you know, this is really potentially very beneficial to them. Well, various ways. Uh, we're trying hard in terms of PR. We're, we've been in a few uh, publications. We're, we're trying hard to get into the more mainstream magazines and, 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 and newspapers. Um, we have some limited budget for advertising, which we're, which we're trying, so online ads. Uh, but I think ultimately... The best way for us, I think, will be via our blog, so mm-hmm. something we call our CBD knowledge base. Yes, because there we we really we post three or four uh, blog posts a week on really anything from how to consume CBD, how to dose it, um, how to read lab reports. So really trying to to get that educational piece into to consumers, and I think if if that becomes well known as a, a sort of as a, as a go to place to inform yourself. Then I think the 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 sort of word out about our our brand will will come mm-hmm, by itself. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay, I think that makes perfect sense. So um, I'll make we'll make sure we have in the show notes uh, a link to to the site and, and that knowledge base, so people can can get some um, some some advice, but also do their do their own research and uh, and piece together what's going to be best for them uh, based on the information you know that is currently available. And I'm sure, like you said, there's there's more and more research being done on this. I'm sure it's sort of being revised and updated um yeah frequently yeah absolutely absolutely yeah, yeah okay so that people can keep their finger on the pulse of what um what's happening and, and best best uh, best practices with this um and, and how that evolves over time so definitely a, a great resource for people to look into there um now the one of the again uh, from a personal uh you know selfish point of view um looking at looking at how this may help me um we talked about inflammation. Has it been shown to have any benefit for potentially reducing pain? Yes. So, I mean, again, the, the, the research to really medically claim this 100% is, is not yet there. But a lot of people do use CBD to reduce pain, mm-hmm. use it as a pain management strategy. So, away from the sort of day-to-day uses, if you are inf- unfortunate enough to have injured yourself at the gym or in generally in sports, then... Then you can use CBD as a as a very natural way 
to 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 sort of ease that pain without having to revert to to, to sort of more pharmaceutical products. Mm-hmm. Of course, it will depend on 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 how bad the pain um, how bad the pain is, but but yes, absolutely, it it, it has shown to work for that too. Yes, because I was thinking this may not be something that's going to deal with like an acute. Uh, injury as such but if you're someone who has chronic pain maybe to some extent it can help with taking the edge off that uh, and that was kind of the avenue I was looking at wondering wondering if it was showing promise there so that's that's good to know that it has has you know shown some promise and we're looking for more research to to sort of work with that um, and so again we talked about sleep and, and stress um, and how that helped with you and, and people's uh, are most of the research on that basically fairly subjective at the moment in terms of uh, it's their subjective feeling of oh I feel a bit less a bit um, a bit less stressed or has the research done any sort of um, actual objective data points on on how we can measure stress and the impact of CBD? There's both. So I mean, there's there's a lot of proper scientific clinical trials ongoing mm-hmm. currently around the world. So it's it's both more sort of survey based uh, studies, but also um, some of the bigger ones where where big companies are investing a lot of money to run those those are properly scientific data based um, and I mean they're they're showing very promising results across uh, a variety of, of of issues as I said with 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 sicknesses of the age it's it's showing the most promising um, applications as I said arthritis, arthritis and and things like that. So it's going to be very interesting to watch that space over the next uh, year or two. And as I said, we've partnered with a with a UK scientific advisory firm to to really try and flesh out those benefits as and when these clinical trials complete. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, that sounds exciting. So uh, with, with you say yeah, with the um, fleshing out this. Obviously, it's impossible, to, you know, to to say. But do we have any idea of the time scale that you'll be getting more uh, information uh, and slightly, maybe some more concrete uh, results coming out? I mean, we with 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 our partner, we we get an update on a monthly basis okay. where there's two or three studies which come out. So there is a lot of work being done here across mm-hmm. the world. So mm-hmm. I'd say, yeah, almost on a weekly basis, there's there's some significant news coming out. So, of course, this is an incremental work being done. So, I mean, my best guess is give it a year or two and we probably will know or will be able to prove what we already know in a scientific, uh, rigorous way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. And you guys, your sole focus at Natural Works is um, CBD, right? You you don't have products um, at the moment, anything other than CBD? No, not currently. So yeah. our starting point was CBD. We, if you look at our sort of strategic plans, we do think we can evolve into a more natural, uh, uh, sort of broader company eventually. But uh, what we're starting with here is CBD. We're passionate about the benefits we we can derive from it, and we'll take it from there. But yeah. I mean, the ethos of taking in nature that can be applied to quite a few places and sure. Um, one step at a time, I guess. From yeah, a, yeah, yeah. From absolutely. a startup perspective. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. No, this question. I was the reason it came to mind. I was thinking, like, so you you guys just really are specialists in this, um, because I was going to ask in terms of um, how the industry looks in uh, from the other the other big players. Like, have you are there lots of um, sort of really large scale supplement companies that have a really wide range, but they've seen oh CBD series promising. They've jumped in on that. Um, and, and they, you know, have a big portfolio of other products, um, as opposed to you guys being like, this is this is our thing, that our, this is our baby, we'll grow from here. I just wanted to know that dynamic, how how, how the field or how the how the wider industry looks. It's different. Uh, there's a, especially in the US, there's there's one or two very big companies which which not only do CBD, um, but have grown quite quite drastically in in, in the CBD space. In the UK, I think it's a my hunch is it's a bit more specialized so it's 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 actual sort of dedicated cbd companies um i mean if you look at the product ranges of the average cbd company it's probably down to uh ingestible oils and some topical products and that's where we think from a product range perspective we really want to broaden that out Mm -hmm. uh, within cbd products but also perhaps in the more broader array of, of natural products um, we're also currently working on a mindfulness app, on a meditation app. So I think 
that will go hand in hand with with, na- with being in touch with nature, with with consuming CBD to ultimately lead a, a better lifestyle. Um, and something exciting we're working on as well is 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 we want to launch a cafe. Mm-hmm. Um, so think of it like Joe and the Juice, yes, but more of a focus on 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 CBD added to those products. Uh, okay. Um, and and again, hopefully, as you step in or when if COVID allows us next year. To, <laughs> To do that, but w- when you step into that cafe, you would you would feel like you're entering um, nature and feeling a bit more connected with with quite simply for me the the greatest gift humanity has. I think we're we're sitting here in London, probably not realizing that every day, but nature is really really cool and and can give us um, many solutions to the hectic city lives we've we've sort of put upon us yes yeah we lose we'd lose touch with it take it for granted yeah 100 yeah, uh that, that's very very interesting um so uh just just maybe so as, as we're sort of running up on time here just to summarize like uh at this point in time there's there's a huge amount of anecdotal uh evidence of of people having great benefits and the research is growing all the time and it, you know it's showing a lot of potential with maybe those as f- from a performance standpoint those secondary factors that can lead into uh, you know, incremental in- increases in performance. So we're looking at improved recovery, uh, reduced inflammation, maybe even pain, managing your stress and, and getting better sleep. And it's kind of that, it seems to me, it's like a, almost like quite a holistic approach in terms of it touches on a lot of points and makes a little bit of difference in a lot of areas which all add up. Uh, would you say that was a fairly reasonable summary of, of where things are at um, in terms of the... Yeah, no, spot, spot on top. That's, okay. that's really where we are. And I mean, just to maybe to end it on a, on an interesting historical note, hemp's been used for for thousands of years, right? Mm-hmm. So it's not it's not a new substance in a sense. It's just that with the onset of of using hemp in marijuana and, and high potency THC, it it started be getting that stigma in 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 more modern society. But if you look if you look back in history, there's just, there's there's a as people we've been using hemp also for those benefits for uh, maybe more than two almost two thousand years Mm -hmm. okay so see it's been around a while um yeah that's fascinating so uh max thanks very much for taking time to to chat today um we well i'm sure the listeners are thinking that they want to know a bit more can you take a moment now just to to let everyone know where they can find out more about uh cbd uh specifically you know your products that knowledge base you you mentioned perhaps you could give us some uh, links or maybe Instagram where they can go check out um, uh, you, you guys and, and what you're up to. Yeah, absolutely. So um, the easiest way is via the website. So that's naturalworks.com. Um, that ov- obviously has our shop and, and more information about our brand. But the the second menu point there is our CBD knowledge base and our, our our library of blog posts where you can where you can have a read on really anything related to CBD. Uh, we're on Instagram and Facebook. Um, Natural Works official mm-hmm. is the handle, but I think the best place to 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 sort of dig in is the CBD library on our website. Yes, yeah, that sounds like a great resource. Uh, anyone who's interesting, I interested. Sorry, I would definitely advise go and check that out. Uh, give the guys a follow on Instagram. Um, I'll make sure all of those links are in in the show notes, so um, you can you can get access to it, guys, nice and easily. Uh, go check it out, and uh, and actually, and anyone who does something has. Um, let, let me know their experience. I'll be interested to know, you know, if you guys are finding the improvements in sleep, if your recovery is better, that sort of thing, because uh, the, the more people um, that we, we, we get some feedback from, the, the better we can start to assess um, how this may impact our, our, our lives and uh, how productive it will be for us. So keep us posted. Uh, anyone listening who gives this a try, I'd, I'd be excited and interested to know how it goes for them. Same here. That would be great. Cool. Thanks for having me. My pleasure, Max. Uh, thanks for chatting. Cheers. Have a good day. That wraps up today's episode. Thank you so much for investing your time with us. We really appreciate it. If you enjoyed what you heard and took value from it, please do me a favor by heading to iTunes right now, subscribing to the show and leaving a review. Positive reviews, you know, like five stars, hint, hint, really help the ranking of the show and will help us to spread the word and keep getting top class guests on. Make sure to follow Breaking Muscle on social media and me, at Tom McCormick, that's T-O-M-M-A-C-C-O-R-M-I-C-K on Instagram. Bye for now, and I'm looking forward to catching you on the next episode of the Breaking Muscle podcast.